On April 30, President of the Republic of Azerbaijan, Hamel Aliyev, chaired the meeting of the Cabinet of Ministers dedicated to the results of the country's socio-economic development in the first quarter of the 2040 and future tasks. The head of state addressed the meeting. President Hamel Aliyev said the country maintained its rapid development rate in the first quarter of the 2030, adding the economy grew to and 5% and gross domestic product and the share of the non-oil sector in economy increased. The president said measures were continued to diversify economy and special attention was paid to solving social issues. The head of state said the population's bank deposits grew 20%, adding the average monthly salary saw a 7% rise, a currency reserves reached $53 million. President Lam Aliyev said the country's main economic parameters were very positive, adding this allows looking forward with optimism. The president said the population's medical check-up program was successfully executed in this quarter, adding 4 million people underwent the check-up in the two months. The head of state stressed the importance of the third state program for socio-economic development of the country's regions and the state program for socio-economic development of Baku and its suburbs. The head of state said measures were taken to develop entrepreneurship and improve business climate in the country. In the first three months, adding there was an excellent investment environment in Azerbaijan and the volume of domestic investment exceeded the size of foreign one. The president said Azerbaijan's foreign debt made 8% of the gross domestic product. President Hamaliev said the country strengthened its position in the world in the first quarter of the year. Our firm is open, princed and based on international law justice, said President, adding, all this helped the country have earned great respect. The head of state said he once again witnessed the importance attached to Azerbaijan during his foreign visits and the international events he attended, adding his meetings in a bilateral format were a success too. On the Nagorno-Karabakh conflict, President Hamaliev said it was high time sanctions were imposed on Armenia. Armenia occupied 20% of Azerbaijan's land, carried out ethnic cleansing policy, while added foreign resolutions of the United Nations Security Council and committed the Khajali genocide. President Lam Aliyev said measures were continued to create a strong army, adding the Azerbaijan army was supplied with modern weapons and armaments. Minister of Texas Fazil Mamadov, Energy Minister Natig Aliyev, and Education Minister Mikhail Jabbar highlighted what was done in the first quarter of the 2040 and outlined further tasks. President Hamaliyev made the closing speech at the meeting. The head of state instructed appropriate officials to continue work to execute social infrastructure projects, direct foreign investment to purported sectors, increase entrepreneurship support, and ensure food security. The president said a new order would be signed shortly with the aim of deepening agricultural reforms. The president held the execution of projects aimed at developing the non-oil sector and industry as a success. President Hamaliyev said the new air terminal would soon be commissioned in the Hyderabad International Airport. The head of state said measures would be continued to strengthen the army, adding infrastructure projects would be implemented and the problem of Nagorno-Karabakh was disabled and veterans would be focus of attention. The president praised what was done in the oil and gas sector. The head of state stressed the importance of the environmental protection, saying the illegal cutting of trees had to be stopped. President Hamaliyev said this year will see Azerbaijan enter the final stage of preparation for the inaugural European Games, noting the country aspired to organize the event in compliance with Summer Olympic Games standards.